Hello, I'm Reverend Kenny Callahan, the pastor of Metropolitan Community Church of Richmond. This past week, with all of the things that are happening and the devastation in um, Ukraine and in Russia, I've been thinking a lot about a vulnerability, about strength and courage. Through her TED Talks and books, uh, Brene Brown invites us to recognize that while vulnerability inevitably opens us up to uh, feeling things that we might want to avoid, it also encourages and enables us to be more authentically human, more caring, more compassionate, and more courageous than we would otherwise be. She reminds us <clears throat> that, the, um, that courage comes from the Latin word core or heart and defines courage as living from the heart, a willingness to embrace our vulnerability in order to be our authentic selves. Christian courage then uh, might be the kind of living that comes from believing that as uh, God's beloved, we are enough and that those around us are enough too and that they are also the beloved of God okay. and deserve our love, empathy, and respect. With this in mind, what would it look like if we as individuals, as a community, and as a world decided together to live wholeheartedly, making room to name our vulnerabilities in a cross-shaped confidence that God is with us and has given us sufficient resources, including each other, to not simply endure the challenges we face, but to thrive as we discover that God often meets us precisely in the places of our vulnerability. What might happen if we as individuals and as a community and a world might feel safe to name where we feel most vulnerable, whether in relationships or a job or experiencing pressure from our friends, uh, perhaps a health issue, or maybe even a different difficult conversation, or even when we have treated someone poorly. And then we remind each other that God is with us in these places of vulnerability that God understands them, and that through God's presence and love, we discover in them a way to more fully embrace who we have been called to be and to connect more deeply with those around us. To be vulnerable is a courageous thing, and to embrace the vulnerability of God we know best through the manger and the cross is also a courageous thing. Courageous and I believe needful. And in risking the courage to be and feel vulnerable, we are constantly transformed. And in doing so as God's beloved, we not only will be transformed, but we will help others be transformed. And then together, the world will be transformed by our example, by our um, actions, and by our love and our relationship with the divine. Now that's vulnerability, strength, and courage.